great halftime show there by West Ham TV. It's really nice to see these young players. And I've got to say, Tremble is looking a fantastic player. But it has to be said, it's a credit to the board of the club and the manager for producing such a great youth system. West Ham really do have fantastic scouts in play at the club. And I firmly believe that Tremble could actually become one of the best players in the world. Just from the, the few reviews I've seen of him and some of the video footage, he really does seem like he's getting better and better. But we have to remember, he's only a young lad and a lot can change in the next five to six years. So we'll have to see how he progresses. But West Ham are on the attack early doors and Sunderland have been defending so stoutly. Destro picks up the ball for West Ham United. Sunderland are backing off there, monitoring the run for Filippo and Destro slots the ball home after 59 minutes. Fantastic play there by West Ham. The Sunderland defence were more interested in Filippo Bonaparte, who is renowned for scoring fantastic goals. They gave Destro too much time, too much respect, and he slotted the ball home in fantastic fashion. Great save there by Butland, but Szymanski! Oh, Szymanski, the young American, has just given the ball away. Gifted Sunderland and a, a, a second goal. Connor Wickham bringing Sunderland back into the game. West Ham United 3. Sunderland too, as Lamella hits the ball from at least 45 yards. That was rather audacious to say the least. But Destro picks the ball up centre of the park, tries to play in Gabbiadini. But great play there by West Ham. Picking up the ball again. Lamella, right hand side, pushes the ball forward in to Gabbiadini. Gabbiadini looking to break into the box. Will he put this onto his left foot? Turns the defender, puts on his left but he plays it into Filippo. Filippo Bonaparte makes it 4 2 after 86 minutes. And that is Filippo's second goal of the game, along with Destro, who has also scored two. But Sunderland on the attack. Goalkeeper up. Great defensive header there. Callas has picked the ball up on the edge of the West Ham area. He's moving forward. The Sunderland goalkeeper's out. Callas sure is going to play into Destro. He's played into Destro. Destro for his hat trick. His first hat trick. Yes, he has. 90th minute. And Destro has scored his first hat trick for West Ham United since his move from Inter Milan. A risky decision there by the Sunderland goalkeeper. But it had to be done. They would have pulled it back to 4-3. But in the end, West Ham United showed their domination with Filippo scoring two, Destro scoring two, and concealing three points with a 5-2 victory. And welcome to the Daily Jaffa. So, Destro in cracking form. Destro scored his first hat-trick since his high-profile move from Inter Milan to sunny East London to join his best friend, Filippo Bonaparte. After the match, Destro had this to say, I am so happy to be at West Ham. The fans are the best and have welcomed me with open arms. Along with Locke, who is the best manager in Europe. And remember, if you have any stories, contact the Daily Jaffa on 0800 I love this career mode. And the West Ham board can confirm that Locke has signed a two-year extension to his contract. To warn off such clubs as PSG, Juventus and Barcelona. Away from any attempt from signing the hottest manager in Europe right now. And Butland, I never wanted to leave. In a shock after-match interview, Butland was asked if he was happy to be staying at West Ham United for four years. And this is what he had to say. I never wanted to leave this club or the fans. My agent wanted to engineer a move to Barcelona, but I wanted to stay a hammer for the rest of my career. The gaffer has made me the player I am today. I want to repay him with loyalty. Why would I leave a team that has won six titles? In six seasons. He makes a very good point. What a cracking paper the Daily Jaffa is. What a cracking paper. And yes, West Ham United are in the Champions Cup. Entertaining Leon at home. And this is a game that you can never underestimate. Leon have been playing some fantastic football in the Liga 1. The French side are dominating at this moment in time in League One. They play a very well-disciplined 4-2-3-1 formation. The two CDMs really do hold magnificently. They can only be compared to the likes of Eduardo and Pogba. They really are fantastic at holding and give great distribution. And Lyon does have a great deal of pace going forward with their striker. Two wingers. They really do have a lot of pace throughout the side. And that will trouble West Ham if they're not at the races. Hopefully West Ham will settle down. As we know, they're very disappointed about last season's exit from the Champions Cup. But hopefully this season, they'll put up more of a fight and be able to progress a lot further. And you never know, we could see West Ham in the final of the Champions Cup. I know that's something that's high on the agenda of Locke. One of his targets this season is definitely to try and retain the Champions Cup. But early doors, it's all Leon. And oh my days, how did he miss that header? Absolutely an open goal. Button looked like he was in no man's land. He was so indecisive. Does he take the ball? Does he not take the ball? Miguel playing nice football with Adrian. Adrian into Filippo. Oh, but Filippo neglected to pull a trigger. 
That was a really cultured move by the West Ham players there, showing that they are absolutely fantastic, but they've not been at the races in this first half. Playing some nice football, but not really pushing forward, not testing Leon enough. And as we go in at half-time, it's West Ham United nil, Leon nil, and it has to be said, Leon are definitely at this moment in time the side more likely to score than West Ham. West Ham just are not stringing the passes together in a positive fashion in the in the latter third of the pitch. They're holding the ball fantastically around their own box and around the, the, the halfway line. But Leon on the attack, ball's knocked out, goes for the shot, hits the bar, and the follow-up is slotted home after 52 minutes. And I do believe we think that has been coming for... For the last 10-15 minutes, Leon have just upped their levels, upped their levels and slotted the ball home with some fantastic play. But the ball comes out to Miguel. Miguel, 25-30 yards out. He knocks it into Stefan. Stefan turns. Stefan strikes a cultured shot at goal. Unbelievable play by the Dutchman. Great play there just to show that he is as silky as we all know. Fantastic defender. And for once, getting forward and trying to score, trying to motivate West Ham, trying to lead West Ham onto a victory. As Carl Walker has to come on for Luke Shaw. Ola Jean has come on as well. And it has to be said, Luke Shaw looks like he's got a slight injury there. From all accounts, it looks like he's a sprained knee. No, hold on, we're getting a report through. Luke Shaw has a hyper-extended knee. I'm not sure how long that's going to put him out for. It could put him out for anything up to 6 to 12 weeks. We'll have to wait and see what the physio says after the game, but... West Ham at this moment in time are just holding on for dear life. Eight minutes to go. The ball's into Rocker. Rocker into Ola John on the left-hand side. Floating inside. Trying to see if anything's moving. Trying to create something. No one's really moving. Very static play by West Ham at this moment in time. Eduardo, the ball in the centre of the park. Into Adrian. Adrian moving forward. Pulls the trigger. Great block there. And Rocker slotted it home after 86 minutes. A great deal of luck involved in that goal. Adrian from about 25 yards out. Had the ball. Picked it up. Had the shot. It looked like it came off the back of a Leon defender who was trying to block the shot. And it falls straight to Rocker. And Rocker does not miss. He has to be one of the youngest and hottest prospects in the game at this moment in time as Indy knocks the ball into Ola John. Ola John has really changed the tempo of the game since he's come on. He knocks it into Rocker. Rocker cuts inside, looking to go for the shot. Unfortunately tackled. Ola John picks the ball up, but the referee unfortunately blows the full-time whistle. It looks like West Ham got away with it. West Ham United won. Leon won. And I must say, West Ham are extremely lucky in that game. Very lucky. I'm not sure Locke will be happy. And we're back at the club. So we're going to find out how long Luke Shaw is out. And unfortunately, yes, the hyper-extended knee that he has suffered has put him out for three weeks. We're now going to move into the youth squad. West Ham United B. We're going to see how the boys done at Chesterfield. Their second game of the season. As you know, they beat Port Vale 1-0 with a fantastic goal from Nicholas Tremel. It was highlighted in a player review. If you missed that player review, drop back to episode number four and you will see the player review for Tremel, who looks a great prospect as Miguel picks up the ball, looking really audacious, playing some great football this moment in time. He knocks the ball into Tremel, and Tremel still showing that he is the hottest prospect in football at this moment in time. I think that's a little bit audacious, but he really is a cultured player. Rocker into Tremel, and Tremel strikes the ball home after 35 minutes to give West Ham United B team a deserved 1-0 lead. And I've got to say, the football the young lads have been playing has been fantastic. On the training pitch, they have been mimicking the first team with a lot of triangle play football. Miguel has been working on his silkies. Doing really well. And Wabs is just such a dominant player. He's out on loan at this moment in time. But he hasn't been playing for the last few weeks. And as you can see, he's such a talent. He has a lethal left foot. He's so cool, calm and composed. Wabs and uh, Busy, I've got to say, are, are looking absolutely fantastic. Busy is getting on really well. If you don't know, Busy is at this moment in time on loan in Barcelona. And playing some magnificent football as Rocker. Look at this. Rocker, 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 Rocker. Rocker, 90th minute goal. To make it 3-0, absolutely fantastic. The B team are doing extremely well. We have no worries about them. But who will we review next? In the comments below, place who you would like us to take a look at and review in the next episode. And I will catch you guys later.